Hi everyone, welcome back to Crazy Chinese. Today our mission is to distinguish these three words: 想想要 and 要 Please don't hesitate to click on the like button and subscribe. It really means a lot to this channel. In order to learn and memorize these three words easily, I made a chart. And probably you will find the size of the phone is small.、Um, no worries, you can take a screenshot, or I will put the document link under this video, so that one day you can review them、um, by yourself. So, as the chart shows, these three words they have independent meanings, and they also have a common meaning, which is the confusing part. I'll go through very briefly the independent meanings, and then、we'll、switch to the common meaning. The first independent meaning of 想 is to miss, and the structure is very simple, just like in English. Somebody miss somebody, or somebody miss something. For example, I miss you. 我想你。我想你。我 means I. 想 to miss. 你 you. Once again. 我想你 Or we can say I miss something. For example, I have a cat. I would say I miss my cat. 我想我的猫我的猫 my cat. 我想我的猫 And you can practice this sentence just by replacing the words, even though you don't know how to say it in Chinese yet. Just in your own language, okay? 我想 my dad. She 想 her hometown, etc., etc. Practice it by yourself. All right. The second independent meaning of 想 is to think. For example, 让我想一想想一想 means to think about it. 让我 let me. 让我想一想 Let me think about it. Now we talk about 要 Its independent meaning is be going to, and it's a very important and frequently used meaning. But I'm not going further here as it's not a major topic today. But we'll learn more precisely when we are going to express the future tense in Chinese. I'll just give you some examples so that you can have a blurred impression how to use be going to. It's going to rain. 要下雨了下雨 means to rain. 要下雨了 I'm going to work. 我要工作了我要工作了 Now let's switch to the difficult part. All of the three words have a common meaning, sort of、um, would like, would like to, or want. So what are their differences? Well, I think you need to distinguish them in two directions, in terms of grammar and in terms of the tone. In terms of grammar, they can be followed by a noun or by a verb, except for 想 Xiang can be only followed by a verb. Why? Because if it is followed by a noun, it means to miss. We talked about it earlier in this video. Do you remember? In terms of the tone, xiang and xiangyao are relatively softer, and they create an atmosphere that you want to be polite. So they are commonly used among colleagues. Uh, your superiors and other people that you are not that familiar with. On the other hand, 要 sounds more direct or more determined, so it is commonly used among close friends or family members, and you know the people you are very familiar with, or in the restaurant because you are very determined and you really know what you want to order. All right, to better present their differences. I'll put them into examples. The first sentence: I want a coffee. Okay, I want a coffee. Let's check the element first. A coffee is it a noun or verb? Obviously, it's a noun, right? 
So we can already eliminate one choice. Which one? It's 想. Why? Because we said 想 can be only followed by a verb. It cannot be followed by a noun. So we can express this sentence with 想要 or 要. 我想要一杯咖啡 or 我要一杯咖啡 To be honest, in our daily life and daily conversations, these two sentences are so similar. It's just the sentence with 想要 is slightly softer in terms of the tone. As I said, if you want to be polite and when you are with someone you are not that familiar with, you can say 想要. Whereas when you are ordering a coffee in a shop and you are ordering food in a restaurant, you can use 要. Okay? The second sentence. I want to eat pasta. I want to eat pasta. Okay. First thing first, we check the element. To eat pasta, it's a noun or verb. Yes, it's a verb, so we can use all of these three words. To eat, 吃, 吃. pasta, 意大利面, 意大利面. So the whole sentence would be 我想吃 意大利面 With 想要 我想要吃意大利面 我想要吃意大利面 With 要 我要吃意大利面 我要吃意大利面 so the differences are the same. With 想 and 想要, the tone is softer. Uh, you use it when you are with someone you are not familiar with or you're invited to someone's home. You want to be polite. And with 要, the tone is stronger. You use it when you are with very close friends or you ordering food in a restaurant. The third sentence. I want to be a doctor. Okay, we check the element first. Be a doctor. Is it a noun or verb? Be cautious. Be a doctor. Okay, so it's a verb. It's a verb. That's why we can use all of these three words. Doctor in Chinese is 医生, 医生. Be a doctor. 成为一名医生. 成为一名医生 So the sentence with 想 我想成为一名医生 我想成为一名医生 The sentence with 想要 我想要成为一名医生 我想要 成为一名医生 The sentence with 要 我要成为一名医生 我要成为一名医生 With this example, the difference in terms of the tone is so obvious. We said 想 and 想要, they are softer. So it's just like someone asks you what do you want to be in the future? And you said um, I would like to be a doctor. You see, the tone or the attitude is not so sure or you are not so determined or you are not so confident. Whereas if we use 要, 我要成为一名医生, the attitude is so determined and so strong and you are so sure what, what, what you want to be in the future. Okay, so let's do a quick summary again. In terms of the grammar, they can be followed by a noun or a verb, except for 想. 想 can be only followed by a verb. In terms of the tone, 想 and 想要, they are softer and they are more polite. 
whereas Yao is stronger and more determined. All right, so this is all about today's video. And if you have any questions and suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. 再见。